The grace and the love of God be with you and your family. This is Sister Rejoy for today's Gospel Power. The disciples came and asked Jesus, Why do you speak to them in parables? He answered, To you, it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For to those who have, more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. The reason I speak to them in parables is that, seeing they do not perceive, and hearing they do not listen, nor do they understand. With them indeed is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah that says, You will indeed listen, but never understand, and you will indeed look, but never perceive. For this, people's heart has grown dull, and their ears are hard of hearing, and they have shut their eyes, so that they might not look with their eyes, and listen with their ears, and understand with their heart and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Truly I tell you, many prophets and righteous people Long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. To understand what Jesus means by this selective revelation of the mysteries of the kingdom, we have to go back to Matthew chapter 11, verse 25, where Jesus praises the Father for concealing from the learned and the wise the things that He is pleased to reveal to little children. The final arbiter of who should be recipients of the knowledge of the kingdom is not Jesus but the Father. Jesus, by speaking not in plain language, but in parables, gives the Father a free hand in choosing who will grasp and accept the message. But Jesus openly and repeatedly tells his listeners, especially the disciples, the outstanding quality of the recipients of the knowledge of the kingdom. They are childlike, simple-hearted, receptive, and humble. As he said so in Matthew 18 verse 3, Unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, brothers and sisters, the primary grace we ought to ask for is childlikeness. And with this disposition, comprehension of the parables will just follow. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all, to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
we fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lawrence Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Colomson, pray for us.